All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I sure did enjoy building it. As you can see, we got fully enchanted armor here, though I have been taking quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, it's because I don't have a breaking three on it. But uh, yeah, we went ahead and built this building here. Now, if you notice, it's a little different. I did switch out the cyan concrete, and I did a little something extra off camera. Yeah, we put a road in. I love it to bits. I love it. I think it looks amazing. Uh, these are the feral lanterns, so it lights everything up. Now, this is quite overkill, honestly. We really don't need these that close to one another, but the fact that we have them this close means that nothing will spawn on this road ever, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, we're going to be expanding out here quite a bit. But uh, yeah, um, these blocks here are the Taiga stone bricks, the metamorphic ones from Batania, and I'm a huge fan of these. Yeah, so to, to make these, I gotta show you guys my little setup for them. All right guys, so over here at the, the starter base, as you can see, I kind of did something around here. This was a total accident. Um, this is where our flower used to be, so I had to move it over here because this is in a taiga and I didn't want it anywhere close to any stone. Uh, so this metamorphosis flower is what does it so what we do here is we put normal stone it's very similar to how a pure daisy works um, stones placed around here it's immediately turned into the different types of metamorphic stone uh, these guys here uh, like if you look it says metamorphic forest so you need to place these in like certain different biomes and it has like a priority so if you do in the taiga like we are here it has the priority of doing the taiga blocks however you do get a bunch of others as well um, so what this does is this just places it here. This is a clock that triggers every so often, which allows the blocks to switch over from stone to the cool stone. And it uses this mana pool here full of mana. And I tried pointing the, the mana spread over there up to here. I don't think it's in range, but uh, that's okay. So anyways, that's why I went ahead and swapped out here. I wanted to use a Botania block in a Botania building and we're gonna put the elevators over here and if you're wondering why this gap is here is because I used the builder um, not the builder the this guy the building gadget to go ahead and put the glass here like so so that's why it's weird I'll go ahead and update it there uh, but I want to do this little bridge across I think it looks pretty good I'm really loving the look from down here oh yes although I might um, remove this pillar going up I don't know if I will and then we're gonna make like a kind of like a little area like a, a, seat, a seating area here that you can enjoy um, yeah so I also want to show you guys something I did went ahead and polished uh, forgot to put swap that out but we Put some carpet here, there's string underneath it so that mobs can't walk in. And I finished off this room here. Or well, not really finished it off, but I just finally put on the final details of the outside so that we can work on, you know, decorating the inside here. So I just decided to go with a TT for Turtle Tower. I'm not sure if I want to keep that. Uh, this is really like a temporary placeholder for something. Uh, but that's pretty much all I did off camera after that. And it's becoming nighttime. And I want to show you guys how lit it is over here. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, we're, oh, another eclipse. It's not nighttime. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. We're really close to a full eclipse here. All right. It's a full eclipse. Wow, that's cool. Do mobs spawn in? No. How did that guy get there? You see that? Oh, yeah. Mobs do spawn in. But check it out. This is how light it is when it's dark out. Like, there's no way anything is spawning here. Very cool, though. This is crazy. Look, look how far these reach out. Like, these go a long way. All right, so yeah, but haven't, I've, I've just finished up the bottom layer here. Haven't really done anything with the middle layer or, the, like, the main layer, if you call it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be setting up the, the Batania stuff in this building here. And so we need to kind of, uh, well, for one, I think we need a basement down here because I want to put all of the, well, I'm trying to think of the best way to move mana. All right, guys, so we have these. Uh, these are going to be where our mana production is going to be. And I think we're going to go ahead and just run up the mana through the, the sides, through the sparks. So I think it should be pretty cool. But, guys, back here is where the fun is. So this here is going to be our elven portal. And back here is going to be where we put the mana production. We're going to have two of these extra uh, ender, endo flame setups. They're going to be running 24-7 for our... Uh, portal here so yeah very excited about that let's go ahead and get that portal made up here and i am just loving 
this road here. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. So, yeah, let's see. So, at Botania. Whoa, what is that? Mana Weave Cowl? That looks pretty sick. I like the look of that thunder color. Wow, full swell da. Hmm. Star color, thunder color. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Alf blade. What alf blade? What are you used for? Killing lots of things. It's got thirteen attack damage. Thing. Okay, we'll worry about that later. So we need to make our elven portal pretty pronto. I think it'd be best if I just looked at the book. All right, we got it here. So we need the portal to Alfheim. Um, Elven Gateway. Okay, so we're going to need our Terra Steel. Good thing is I did make up quite a bit of Terra Steel. Yep, we got 14. Okay, so what do we need here? Um, Elven Gateway Core. All right, so Elven Gateway Core. Natura Pylon. Natura. Natura. Okay, got that there. And then living wood, right? All right, so we might have enough of the living wood to pull this off. Um, all right, we have the gateway here. Our glimmering living wood. Believe we need that. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we need a total of three of these. I don't know why I put one extra in there. Okay. So I believe we have everything we need for that. We'll work about we'll worry about the nature of pylons in a second. Let's go ahead and just get the portal set up here. All right. So it's a big boy. Uh, we're actually gonna put it here. We're gonna set it back one block. Okay. So the Elven Gateway Core. Actually, I think we want to bring this up one block. Because I want to be able to access that um, block from the side. So the gateway core, yeah, we want to have this front face so that we can access it. And then we go here, 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 here. And then the living one. Okay, so that's the portal for it. It actually made up. And I don't know if we can fill in the corners. I, I would. We're going to try it and see if that works because I think it would look a lot better. Um... This is wrong. Please do tell me. Or we might just paint like other blocks to put there or something. All right. So those are there. We're going to grab the um, the mana portals from up top after we do the pylons because we definitely need them. All right. So we made two of the mana pools off camera here. Now we need to go ahead and make the nature of pylons. All right. So we got one here, two here. Those are easy. And then one here, two here. Perfect. All right. Let's get on down here. All right, so these are going to be on the back. Well, hmm. do they have to be on the back? It would look really... Hello? It would look really cool. If they weren't on the back. Or if they were on the front. We could see them. Well, let's see about touching it here. Um, let's give it a wee little poke. I don't have me wand. Okay, so it looks like everything is set up properly, though it doesn't have the mana to support it. Very cool. So it does work with the corners, which I'm very happy about. Um... These are really cool. These nature of pylons. That's a great decorative block we might be using for something else. Um, yeah, we need to go ahead and set up our one of our endo. We're going to get the endo flames working back there first. Um, so, yeah. We have one endo flame. Oof. But we have a lot of seeds. So I'm going to go to town up here making some endoflames because we have all of those uh, those guys being automated. I'm probably going to make like a stack. So I'm going to do this for a while. Going to get a bucket. Oh, there was someone 
who mentioned something in the comment section. So, all right. So in the comments, this uh, Aqua Panthus was suggested to put water into the Petal Apothecary. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. Uh, so we need, we need to just go to Britannia. Wow, we're getting a lot of stuff from Britannia now, aren't we? Okay, so we're going to get a total of four of the. Well, we only need two. Two of these. We need light blue. And wow, that's a how. Wow, okay. I didn't think we had that. We got the Hydrogigigigus thing. Um, we also need a cyan. Wait, we got cyan. We need light blue. And then we need green. Perfect. All right, let's give this a shot. All right, so bink, bonk, boop, ping, pow. All right. Oh, <gasps> it works. It freaking works, my dudes. Okay. So here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. <gasps> this is great. Thank you, sir, for putting that in the comment section. It works like a dream. So I'm going to be here for a bit, and I'm just going to keep on doing this. And we're going to get a bunch of endo flames made up. But this makes it much quicker. So I'll be back in a bit when all this is done. Okay, guys, so this is the setup I have over here. Pretty simple. We just have the precision uh, dropper over here being powered by this guy. Uh, it's dropping the blocks here onto this pressure plate. Uh, this pressure plate has a redstone signal that runs up here to a torch elevator and then activates and deactivates this guy, telling it when to deploy the, the coal. So there's going to be three coal on here every time. Um, not really a whole lot... I want to do about that because I'm actually I don't really care uh, but the reason we use coal and not like coal blocks is because I don't want these guys to continue to burn longer than the items take to despawn so then we're losing items so we're just gonna use coal at a time I don't really care about it too much but yeah we have quite a bit of mana being generated here now so let's see if we can continue to have this thing run and um I mean, it says it takes a lot of mana, but I mean, it's not even using the mana here. Let me do some research real quick. All right, so from what I'm reading, it takes a whole lot of essence or mana to go ahead and get this thing started. So what I went ahead and do is, did is I took the mana tablets from the... Or I kind of used my mana tablets, threw them into the... the the mana pools I had up at the base, and then transfer these over here. So, it's activated. Uh, I think. Did I just waste all that mana not having anything to throw in? We need the mana steel. And we need the living wood. All right, portal still active. Let's. Oh, one. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. We got all of them here. All right, next, let's go ahead and throw the living wood in. Yes. So now we can make the much better mana spreaders, which will help us have, I guess, maybe more of these. But these guys are running full steam ahead. Oh, check that out. It didn't even use up that much. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right, so we can make elven quartz, elf glass... Um, block of Elementium. That's probably a good idea. Dragonstone. What are you used for? 
Ooh, making really amazing things. All right, so we have everything to make up the elven spreaders for that. Ooh, let's throw our Lexica Botania thing in here. Okay, got it back. All right, and I think... Yeah, okay. Ooh, greetings. We found this book when one of our old portal friends, Botania, say open. Thanks to the world. Quite a shock for us indeed. On behalf of all Elven Guard, we thank you for sin sincerely for providing us with reception of knowledge. From your world, it has been a while since we had to leave, so it's a good to see that it's been doing well. Okay, so it's talking about the Dreamwood here, all the different trades you can do, pixie dust. Um, yeah, so if we go back here to recipes, we hit this, hit uh, uses for it. Um, well, ruin, ruin of that, but. Uh, so make the pixies. What is the pixie dust used for? Well, it's used for a lot of things from Batania, it looks like. Um, Rod of the Bifrost. That might be pretty cool. Control. Okay. Corpius Spark. Visualizing a network moving a spark from a container. Not having two master Corpius Sparks in the same network is a bad idea. It can cause my behavior. Visualizing a network and removing a spark from a container are performed the same way. Master Corpius Spark. Okay, so maybe that transfers mana faster. And how are we doing here? Which direction are we flowing? Let's check this guy out. Okay, so we actually, th it doesn't seem to be draining or anything like that. This is actually, we're actually producing more mana than we're using for this elven trade portal here, which I'm super excited about. Because that means I can come up here, we can let that run for a little bit. We don't have to worry about it, you know, like foreshutting or anything like that. Um, how are we doing on coal? We're doing okay. We definitely need to upgrade the void ore miners to go ahead and keep up with this. Um, but it, nothing to worry about. But we can go ahead and take a bunch of this iron here. And this is what I'm really excited about. Is because we have this, we can just check this guy here. Check this guy here. And now we have a whole bunch of mana steel. All right, eventually these guys are going to go, especially even those guys too, the Coke ovens. So now let's go back over here to the Elven Trade. We're going to run a cable over here for our ME network. We'll have a, an ME interface and all that over here. Um, but yeah, if we go like this. I wonder if it would be worth our while to throw on our magnet. Having problems turning this thing off. Yep, good idea. Oop. We can probably just chuck all of these guys in, right? Perfect. Okay. So that's the right amount that we were supposed to get back. But now we have this elementium stuff, and we can make a cool bucket. We can make an elementium sword, a star collar. Not a bad idea. What is this? Mana infuser? Okay, so this is how you get the elf steel ingots. What do you make with the elf steel ingots? Double elf steel ingot. Well, cool. Oh my goodness, this acts like netherite and gets you up to that elf blade. Okay. Okay. Two mana pools to make this guy. Jeez, Dragonstone, Pixie Dust. Okay, so this is definitely a, an amazing move forward for us. Um, let me check here. Oh my gosh, yes, we're producing more mana than we're using. So that means if we get our coal production 
right? We can leave this thing running 24-7. And I think I'm not going to cover up the back of this portal here. I'm going to put glass here. We're going to pretty this room up with some cool uh, Batania items. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video for today, guys. I feel so cool. We are getting really into Batania lately, guys. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. This is the first I've ever gotten into it. I'm kind of forcing myself to learn it in this mod pack. So anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please do hit that like button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. But guys, I will see you all in the next video. Please take care. Peace out.